Today, I will be taking you on a small tour of your Nintendo Entertainment System. So sit back and relax, because the tour is about to begin. <laughs> This is a Model 1 Nintendo Entertainment System. Or, for other, for other people's sake, the NES 1. This is the one that was originally released in 1985. Now, if you probably don't have one, then your uncle might have one, or maybe even your dad had one whenever he was in college. Maybe. Maybe you kids are old enough for that. The Japanese thought that the original design of this was a little bit too kiddy. Would you like to see what it looks like? There it is! There it is in all its glory. The Famicom! The system that would later revolutionize the video game industry as this. The Nintendo Entertainment System. You see that it is top-loading. The way the old VCRs work and that's what uh, they were trying to pull off. You're wondering yourself, how do you turn it on? Press this button. Now you're probably wondering, Matt, why don't you just turn it on so we can all see what the load-up screen looks like. Look, there's no uh, load-up screen, as we all know. And if I were to do this, this, especially this, the little uh, power cable that came with this, would be screwed. Or shall I say, S-screwed for our Spanish-speaking friends. Now, you're thinking to yourself, Help! Quick! I need to get out of this uh, quick before I die. What do I do? Press the reset button. You go back to level one, but you can try it all over again. Unless you save your game. Then you go back to where you were. Which probably wasn't in the same situation you were already in in the first place. Where do you hook up one of your controllers? Right here and right here. Now. These two ports right here were used for many things. Such as the original Nintendo gamepad. Down, left, right, up, down, up, down, left, right, left, right. A. B and A. Not sure why it wasn't A and B, but anyway. And select and start. You can also hook up your NES Advantage, which I will show you in a minute. You have your power pad, and you also have your light gun, which goes with it. Oh, I'm sorry. The, the zapper! Sue me, I'm dumb. You're thinking to yourself, Matt, how am I supposed to put this on my television set? Well, simple. Two ways. Audio, video. These are composite, uh, and they will give you output mono sound. Which, if you want to know, the wire kind of looks like this. What you do? Hook the yellow wire into here. Hook the red wire into here. Hook that to your television and you are set to go. Now, you're probably wondering to yourself, Hey, I got an HD TV. Can you hook a brother up with that? Any yes? Well, you can go buy yourself an extra little white wire, which they, most of them nowadays, all come bundled together. So find one that has RCA video, and stereo RCA cables. Now, physics would say that, and common sense says that three does not go into two. Well, that is not true for this, because of a little cutting device known as a coupler. What you do, you take these two, put them into here, and now, Three can go into two, and two can go into two, like so. And now you have two go into two to make chicken. Now, since we're on the subject of high definition television, you might notice that uh, the three extra wires will go into your television set. Uh, well, for a system like this, the picture quality is great, don't get me wrong, but it can easily be improved. How? 
by a cunning little other cord known as an S video cable. Now, once again, logic. Yes, I know some of you are getting turned on by this, but uh, there's got to be another way. In fact, there is. And it's on the other side. RCA female to S video female as well. So RCA to S video coupler from our good friends at Radio Shack. Hooray for Radio Shack! Yay! And now to plug this. Or see me, I have so many wires. Plug this into your television set and then you have stereo sound with improved video quality. Now, for those of us with older television sets, and I know who you are, don't be stupid with me. Although, wait a minute, we're on YouTube, so more than likely you'll be playing stupid anyway. You have an RF modulator, which it even says right there. Now the device looks a little bit like this. You hook this to the back of your television set, and you hook your antenna to here if you have one. And in, uh, you know, you have uh, ATSC antenna, you more than likely will have uh, cable that will probably go into here. That's called coaxial cable. You take this, plug right here, and you plug it into the RF modulator plug like so. And you can choose you can choose your channel that you'd like your set to be. You'd like your NES to play in. Here we have a selection of three and four. I usually choose three because, well, our NBC station is set to four. Oh, while we're up here, see this other little piece right here? That is the AC adapter. That'll go into your plug. and It'll go into your wall in order to power this son of a bizzle up. Which you kind of need for this device. Because it's electrical. Go figure. And now stay tuned for games to go with this system which are conveniently placed right over here.